Hello, welcome to Oracle DBA 02 Pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, we'll talk about database administration. Few words about relational databases. Relational databases are based on course theory given in 1970s. Data is stored in tables within relational databases, and the only way to talk to relational databases is through SQL commands or structured query language commands. If you want to retrieve data, insert data, modify or remove data, you have to issue SQL commands. Okay, so there are other relational, uh, there are other kinds of databases as well, like flight file systems and object-oriented databases. But mostly relational databases are used uh, these days. So let's talk about where Oracle database fits into the big picture. So there's a big market for relational databases. Fifty percent of the market is. Uh, occupied by Oracle database okay so it has a big market share other players are DB2 and Informix both are owned by IBM Microsoft has their own database called SQL server or SQL server and uh, Sybase has their own database called Sybase database okay so Oracle corporations flagship product is Oracle database which has 50% of the market share so it's very popular database since the beginning and uh, they were the uh, first player to introduce relational database in the market. Although Cord was IBM scientist, he, he introduced uh, relational theory, and, IB, uh, and Oracle was the first to leverage that concept into the product. Okay, so uh, learning Oracle database administration makes sense because it's it's a large database, and uh, the market is going to be there. Uh, for Oracle database administration uh, administrators okay so let's see where database administrator fits into the big picture this is the database it has data within the database like yellow circles are representing data within this green database and this this is application server so we have lots of applications running here uh, represented by the yellow box and application is talking applications are talking to the database through the network okay so the person looking after the health of the network is network administrator and a person uh, responsible for developing applications or to modify existing application is the application developer it could be more than one application developer person who is responsible for the health of applications security and they are up and running and and uh, you know the configuration that would be the applications administrator Okay, uh, for example, Oracle applications have their own system administrator. SAP has their own uh, SAP administrator, and uh, you know, so all appli big applications, and maybe small applications, have their own administrator as well. So DB has nothing to do with the health of the applications. A project manager is looking after the overall project, and he has an eye on basically everybody. Uh, if it's not a project, if it's an ongoing support operation, then uh, it may be the, the IT manager uh, is looking after every everybody what what's going on in each area. Now, talking about database, database health is very important because database is guarding your data, and data is everything. Okay, so DBA is responsible for uh, looking after the health of the database. Okay, so that's where database administrator fit in, fit in. Okay. Now, if you want to break the responsibility down into a list, so this would be the list of main responsibilities of a DBA. Okay, uh, DBA is responsible for recovery of the of the database if database crashes. Uh, like it has to be in a in an acceptable time that has already been agreed upon by everybody. Uh, that if if two hours of downtime, then database has to be recovered in two hours. So it may involve you know bringing up some other machine because your maybe your existing machine has crashed uh, so either you have a standby database running which is mirroring your production database or you have to copy all the data or whatever me mechanism you have in mind this DBA's responsibility to make sure the data is recovered data integrity is also role of uh, responsibility of a DBA that whatever data is there in the database is true and is making sense in comparison to the other data in the database okay it has to be maybe the point in time data or uh, like it has to be true data it has to make sense okay uh, so it also involves making sure that uh, 
data files are not corrupted because corruption could cause uh, disin disintegrity of the data. Now, security is also responsible for uh, is, is also responsibility of a DBA that only those people are accessing the database who have uh, privileges. Only those applications are accessing your data that has privileges, or and only that part is ac accessed uh, is accessible that has been allowed uh, by the administrator uh, to certain application or users. Okay, so security is very important. Availability is also. Uh, very important and responsibility of a DBA like if you have agreed that database will be up 99% of the time in a week or in a month then it should be up and running okay uh, you can't bring it down for maintenance purposes uh, uh, quite often it has to be an acceptable limit performance is also important uh, performance may include two parts like working with application developers to make sure their SQL commands are properly tuned and it's uh, written in the best manner possible so that they retrieve, uh, the retrieval is fast and it may also involve back-end tuning where application developers are not really involved and you make sure the database is configured in the sense uh, in a way that it uh, the performance overall performance is is most efficient uh, you know now and then DBA has to uh, work with programmers when it comes to data modeling if new applications have been designed or are, are being designed or if existing applications are being modified maybe data model has to be rewritten data model is the structure of the tables what columns should be there in the table and how tables should be connected uh, linked to the other tables etc etc okay in some companies application developers take the whole modeling uh, data modeling uh, responsibility in some companies DBAs have to work with application developers so it all depends on what whatever the environment is but you have to be you will be as a, a, a database administrator assisting programmers now and then when it comes to data model okay so that's pretty much it in my uh, subsequent tutorials I'll be uh, you know gradually in a step-by-step -step manner making you a professional Oracle DBA so if you complete all the tutorials uh, you will uh, be a confident professional Oracle DBA okay so for more tutorials you can visit my website uh, oracle dba02pro.com all tutorials are free I'll see you in my next tutorial